Yes, uh, good afternoon. Uh, we are here at um, Chimbokaila prison uh, with honorable members of parliament, the Honorable Chonde, Honorable Mwamba, Honorable Lungu, Honorable Mwanga. We came to visit our colleague, Honorable Munia Zulu, who has been here since Friday. Uh, we found him in very high spirits. And, uh, you know, he gave us a message to send to everybody that he's fine. He's doing fine. And he hopes, uh, you know, to see the people of Numezi uh, soon. He hopes to get back uh, to Parliament to represent uh, the people of Zambia and indeed uh, the people of Numezi. So, Honorable Mamba, did you, you, you interacted with uh, Honorable um, Zulu? The interaction went on very well. Honorable Zulu is in very, very high spirits. He says it's an experience that is worth it as a politician to come to, to um, a correctional service. He stands strong, he stands firm, and um, we look forward to his release. Thank you. Um, equally, um, I was very concerned, um, but now that we came here, it's just to see the strength that, um, that our colleague has. Um, he's been through a lot uh, recently. Has become the lifestyle in, in and out of places like this. Um, it's very, very unfortunate. Um, but Honorable Munir Zulu is strong and he's actually strengthened all of us. I thought that I was going to be the one to strengthen him, but um, I'm even more strengthened. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. kept in prison from Friday after today and uh, we found him well. Like Honorable Lungu has said, he was busy encouraging us, so, <laughs> which is uh, 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 good and, and I think now we can go and, and rest easy. We hope that tomorrow we can be together with him in Parliament so that he can represent the people of Lumezi. Thank you. We, we are from uh, visiting uh, Honorable Monia Zulu in prison. Uh, it's good that uh, he's in high spirits and that is very encouraging. We're looking forward to seeing him being released and uh, see him in Parliament. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> like uh, most members have said, uh, mentioned, we came here to see him, to offer him solidarity. And uh, you know, I was in the dock with him on Friday, and then since then I've not been, I didn't have time to see him. So we basically walked here to give him uh, solidarity, and he's obviously in high spirit, and we're encouraged by the state of affairs so far. We're only looking forward that uh, we expected that he could be out today, but unfortunately we had uh, uh, power failures and there's little we could do at this juncture. So we're waiting for... The outcome probably tomorrow and we're hoping we could work with him to freedom so that he can continue discharging the functions that uh, the people of Lumezi gave him. Yeah, just to sum it up, I think it's all about Mumia Zulu uh, this afternoon. Uh, we want to uh, commend our colleague, Honorable Mumia Zulu, uh, for his courage. I think Honorable Mumia Zulu um, stands out uh, as a politician. He has shown a lot of courage in the way that um, he voices out on certain, uh, you know, violations of uh, rights and uh, certain things that affect the Zambian people. Our encouragement uh, to all other opposition political parties that uh, this is not the time for praise singing. Uh, if you are in opposition and you are, you are, you are praising, uh, you, you, the government may be on the wrong side of the political divide. Uh, our job is to ensure that government is put to work by providing checks and balances. In doing that, we are fighting for some limited space. The government will try to frustrate the efforts uh, because they would like to create an impression that they're delivering to the aspirations of the Zambian people. Our job is not necessarily to make their job difficult, but to point out, uh, bring out the omissions. And if the UPND government uh, would effectively engage and work on the issues that the opposition raised, they would end up as a political party that, you know, tried to deliver. Uh, opposition political parties are not supposed to be looked at as enemies. 
we occupy a special place in a democratic dispensation. So like right now, there are a number of uh, things that we've noticed that need to work on. Uh, for instance, we will continuously talk about abductions or the manner of arrests, the rights of suspects. Uh, in many cases, uh, of course, not in the case of Honorable Munia Zulu, we, we can't comment. He's, ha, he's very safe and he's very comfortable. But we will not stop talking about human rights violations. There's a report by the U.S. Department that talked about human rights violations. Uh, right now, as we speak, Comrade Zumani Zimba is still incarcerated. We are demanding that, uh, you know, Zimani Zimba be given bail. As far as we are concerned, at the time the alleged offence was committed, that particular offence was bailable, and therefore Comrade Zumani uh, deserves bail. We want to call upon the police command. There was an acting Minister of Home Affairs yesterday who was commanding, commanding police officers at the pass-out parade that they were doing a good job. I want to say that's a lost opportunity. The minister should have taken time uh, to, to instruct and direct police officers that they must act within the confines of the law. The DC uh, officer agreed with the acting minister. Again, that is a lost opportunity. People are losing property every day without the due process. So the DC officer cannot say their officers are discharging functions with diligence. So for us as the opposition, uh, the political party, we want to stand with the Zambian people to ensure that there's fair treatment of suspects, a fair treatment of every citizen, that in as much as the UPND, yes, have embarked on a, 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 a a fight against corruption. They must do this within the confines of the law. And most importantly, corruption must be fought whether it's past, present or future. We haven't seen uh, enough effort being made on the current corruption. We are still calling upon the law enforcement agencies to travel to Chingola, to KCM, to look at that Sensele mining operation there is a syndicated mechanized mining operation within KCM uh, promoted by top leaders in government today. An illegal activity. Nobody knows who owns this company. Nobody knows where they pay tax. Nobody knows where they deliver the proceeds from that operation. We call upon these agencies. If indeed there's a fight against uh, corruption, we challenge this government to send people into KCM to go and into look, uh, look into, into that particular activity. We once again want to call upon the executive to look at what is happening at Ministry of Agriculture. Up to now, the permanent secretary at Ministry of Agriculture is still in employment. He went against the law by refusing to submit documents to the Auditor General as required by law. He's still in office. So we are not convinced that this fight against corruption is a genuine fight against corruption. So that and many other cases that have been brought to the fore must be fought before the UPND can raise their flag and say we are fighting corruption. So ladies and gentlemen, countrymen and women, uh, once again I want to join uh, other members of parliament uh, you know, in uh, 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 commending Honorable Munia Zulu for his resilience, for his courage that uh, he has even as he continues to discharge his functions on behalf of uh, the people of Zambia in general and people of Rumezi in particular. Thank you very much. Honorable, um, was it last week or this week, uh, one of your, one of the members of parliament uh, for Maloli constituency was involved in an uh, accident. What's the current status as of now? Our comrade um, Robert Kaila Kalimi is uh, recuperating. He's recovering um, very well. He's currently at the University Teaching Hospital and the intensive care unit. Uh, we, we had communication with the doctors this morning. We informed us that uh, he's making very steady progress. So we have him in our prayers and we continue to pray for him that uh, the Almighty God you know, can grant him healing messes so that he can recover quickly and get back to Parliament and indeed continue representing the people of Malole.